Good morning, maniacs. In today's video, we're going to be we're going to be doing a couple of different things. One of those things that we're going to be doing is installing outside lights like this one, so we can go ahead and run the wires, and I have everything already done by the time they spray the insulation. That's what we're working on today, and we hope you enjoy. So let's get to it. Previously on Gus the Struggle Boys. So like I said, one of the things we're going to be doing is installing some outside lights. We have some lights like this and one light like this. This one's going to be a motion sensor light. They're all going to go in switches. The scary thing about this one is that it is on the 120 volt system. Right now, like I said, we could be running the wires, so it shouldn't be explosive, but we need to make sure we did it right, so we might need to test it. For right now, we're just going to be installing this, which means drilling more holes into a bus, which means, rightfully so, forecasts are gloomy. Hold up. So in order for us to be able to install these, we have to mount these glands. These glands are made so that you can put the wire through here tighten the actual gland and make it pretty much a waterproof seal for us to be able to mount this gland, we have to drill a half an inch hole into the bus so to mount that gland we went ahead and drilled a pilot hole first from the inside outside making sure that it was lined up with the middle of the door now we're going to go ahead and basically drill the big hole All right, so now that we have drilled our hole, we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that the gland fits and it fits perfect in here. Before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and clean the surface. The gland comes with an actual rubber gasket that's gonna fit around here, and that's gonna compress to make a watertight seal along with the rubber gasket that's inside uh, for the actual wire to be held together or held in. you we're installing some outdoor lights uh one more step to prep for insulation just trying to get all these things installed before we can't get to all these difficult spots and he showed you this front one and how to install the gland next we're going to show you how we actually install them we got some bolts washers lock washers and nylon lock nuts he did one just to see how he's gonna do it and all that kind of stuff, get the hang of it like we usually do. So we're gonna show you how we do the other one. Plans that we got, a little kit of a bunch of different sizes. Uh, it shows you all the different sizes on here. We weren't sure what sizes they are and then we also were hopefully gonna be installing security cameras and we don't know what size those are either, which they're probably all mostly small, but we'll show you these that we got on Amazon. 
And like he showed you, there is a gasket on the part that pushes against right here, pushes against the actual metal of the bus to keep it from leaking. And then inside here, if you can tell, there's another gasket that tightens around, sorry for this terrible example, around the actual wire. So that keeps it from leaking inside there too. And these are a bit of a pain in the butt to install. We were just kind of done with drilling holes in the roof and installing things on the roof because we did that for like four months, probably six months straight. So we got tired of that, but we know these will really come in handy and it just gives it that, you know, official outdoor feel when you have lights and they're going to be on a little switch. It's also another pain in the butt, like you said, because this is the only 110 thing that we have that is on a switch. So that kind of stresses them out trying to figure that out. But we have some people we're going to ask some questions and having these on a switch and having these outdoors, I think are really going to come in handy. But you can just see how good it looks out here. And we're only putting one on each side. The other side has one in the exact same spot and then the front door one, but we're only putting one on each side because they are so bright. And I mean, they will light up this whole area. This is the one that he has installed. And then we can tighten those side bolts into whatever direction we want it to point. So the first thing that I did was I placed it on here like this to see where I needed to drill the holes. And with a pen, I just marked those holes. And then I drilled a small pilot hole with a one eighth bit, just so I know where to go and it, the bit wouldn't walk with the bigger uh, bit. Now, I am supposed to be drilling a 5 16 hole, but I don't have a 5 16 drill bit because they all <coughs> broke whenever we made the boxes, storage boxes. So I'm going to use a 3 8 which is this one size up, and it should be perfect for the application. So now I'm just going to go ahead and drill it. After drilling, it's going to be a little bit weird, but I'm just going to scrape off some of the tropical that's around the hole. And the reason for this is that butyl tape doesn't attach very well to the silicone. So by taking that silicone off, it basically exposes the middle which the butyl tape will adhere a lot better to. With this handy dandy awesome ladder. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean the surface. Because it's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> got some under -sitment. here it's not as bad but you can see on that front one how big of a difference it is in the spot that's clean how gross is that time for a bath Gus yeah that is for sure okay What we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be putting the bolt through the washer, through the hole that's on the actual light. We're gonna put some butyl tape on the back of that hole that's on the light so it makes contact with the actual bus. Then we're gonna put another washer, a lock nut, lock washer. lock washer, and then the light nylon lock nut on the other side. And we're gonna be doing that on both sides. So it's gonna be bolt, washer, washer, lock washer, light nylon lock nut, with some beetle tape in between just so for some uh, weather. the 
flex seal or the leak seal um, on the back of those just to make sure that it's fully. I like my spotlight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to make sure that it's fully sealed. And from the outside, it looks amazing. Now we're gonna mount the last one above the front door. And that one's super cool because it has a little motion sensor on it. So if people are outside, if we're outside going in and out of the door, it'll automatically turn on. You can also set it to where that doesn't work and it only works with the switch or you could set it to where it only comes on for a short amount of time or a long amount of time and like the sensitivity of it and stuff. So it's super cool and it'll come in handy. The way they look? I like the way they look? It's I love the way they look. I, I told you, I think it makes it look very official. Like a like a real, you know, a motor home or RV or a house because we have outdoor lighting. This one's looking kind of janky right now. <laughs> Good stuff. Would you like some help? No. Are you sure? Yeah. So you can go like five feet. <laughs> With the greatest ladder in the history of ladders that has come in so much handy. Step above the rest. <laughs> Step up to the bus. Get it? Instead of to the streets, it's to the bus. Aww, be big cute. <laughs>